As you guys can see, I'm dragging my luggage through the city. I'm here in Halibo, Philippines, and I'm going to get some dinner before heading on a plane. I'm heading to a place called Andok. Andok Chicken. Yo, I have this on the plane on my way from Kalipan to where did I go? To Cebu. Yo, this is the best chicken I've ever tasted. So let's get an actual proper meal at Andok's. And let me show you why this is better than Joey Beast and KFC. So when you come to the Philippines, if you want chicken, you gotta come here. Okay, so this Andoks where I just left, it didn't have any place to sit. Uh, it didn't have any places to sit. So now I'm taking a tricycle and I'm heading to another Andoks that's about, I don't know, five or ten minutes down the street. Hey, I want to do anything to get this chicken before I get back on the plane and go to Korea. Because this is the best chicken I've ever had. Yo, I'm doing all this for chicken. <laughs> Yo, know, one thing about Kalibo is that there is a plentiful amount of McDonald's. Like there are McDonald's everywhere in this city. So if you're worried about eating Filipino food and you're not used to it, you don't have to worry. McDonald's has got you. <laughs> hey, but for all McDonald's, I'm gonna need for you to check yourself because you're not even in Mongolia, my favorite country to visit. I'm gonna need for you to get in Mongolia. I'm gonna need you to get there by the summer when I make my return visit. Okay, finally, we made it to the second Andoks. I'm about to eat the hell out of this chicken, man. I just took a tricycle 10 minutes to get this chicken. Yo, it's definitely gonna be worth it. Bye. Yo, look at that already. Oh my god. Okay. Just that chicken is so slowly roasting on the skewers over that open fire. Oh, it's about to go down. All right, let's take a look at this menu. No, they even have pork chops here. So it's just not a chicken place. Oh, they got sisig. Or sisig, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that properly, but that's a Filipino dish. It's really good. And... I don't know, they got fried chicken, they got barbecue chicken. Okay, what I had on the plane, I had like fried chicken and this this gravy, I think it was doquito with some rice. Oh, they got the bungus fish too, right over here. Dang, they got a lot of stuff. It's this whole day, I got this like a menu for like all day long. I don't know, it's delicious and it's not very expensive. Hey, so can you tell me, what is the best chicken dish that you have here? I was on a plane from from Kadiklan to uh, Cebu, and we had this, I think, Dokito meal with gravy. It was so good. I want something like bigger. Oh, whole chicken! I can't eat all of that by myself. Half a chicken. Oh wow! Okay, I didn't even see that. Quarter or half chicken. Okay then. Oh here, okay, cool. Maybe I'll get a half chicken. Half chicken is good. Oh, with rice. That red drink over there. What is that red drink? Sting energy drink, sir. Oh, energy drink. The yellow one is cobra energy drink also. You want energy drink or just some drinks? I just want like a, a royale, a royal. Yeah, or I'll take the pineapple juice, Del Monte. Price isn't expensive at all, just two thirty-two. Pretty good. Whoa, here it is. Okay, we got the half chicken. We got this amazing gravy, and we got yo. I like how the rice comes. The rice comes in like this little. What we gonna do? We gonna open up our rice. It's like this, it's amazing. All right, look, how, look at this chicken. This chicken breast is amazing. It's, I mean, it's just it's really grilled. I can smell how delicious it tastes. Let's put it in the, in the gravy. This rich gravy. Oh, man. Woo! Yo, that was good. 
this is much better than Jolie B's or KFC. No, seriously, like, man. Look at this chicken. Look at how tender it is. You dip it in the gravy. Look at that. This is legit gravy. I haven't had legit gravy like this since the KFC in Mongolia. Mmm. The gravy is it's sweet. Oh. This is real chicken. I don't think any kind of preservatives or anything in it. Go. So, Better than KFC, definitely. Mm. Since I've been in the Philippines, I've been drinking a lot of pineapple juice. I guess they serve it because it helps the digestion. Our pineapple is really good. And if you have a lot of food just sitting in your stomach, if you eat some pineapples or drink some pineapple juice, like the acid from the pineapples just really helps all that food to go down. Ain't that taste fresh. Yeah, let me stop fooling around. Eat it with my hands. Like, mm. Mm. So it's good even, even without the gravy. Sheesh. chicken, boiled chicken, any kind of chicken you can think of. If you want chicken, yo, Andros doesn't let me down. Yo, it's so good that I even had to get some spaghetti because I heard the spaghetti here is good as well. So, I mean, it just looks like regular pasta and cheese and tomato sauce, but let's take a look. Pasta sauce tastes just like the gravy. It's thick, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And it's got like the right amount of cheese. There's also like some, I don't know what's in here. I think it's beef. And maybe like, a, there's a chili in here too. No, it's good. I mean, for real, how can you do the chicken and the spaghetti right? Like, both of them are banging. I mean, dang, I didn't even want to eat the spaghetti, but because it's so good, I'm definitely gonna finish it. Okay, I've come into this Filipino bakery cafe right across the street from the Andoks, and I just wanted to see like how the Filipino cafe experience is. And it looks like a normal kind of cafe, but actually they've got food here. So, yo, what is this? This is flan. I don't know what this is. 
What is it? Cassava cookie? Yeah. Ah, cassava cookie. Ooh. Maybe I'll try some of that. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. And they've got some cupcakes More here. More desserts. Yeah. What kind of cupcakes are these? Okay. And in here, looks like they've got chocolate. Yes. Leche flan. Okay, leche flan. And wow. Okay. This is cheesecake. Yeah. Blueberry cheesecake. Blueberry cheesecake. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm waiting for the tea to come. I think I got some leche flan. Yeah, it's a mango tea. But while we're waiting for the tea to come, I just want to share with you guys, like, um, here. Oh, she's bringing a plate on my here uh, in the Philippines, sometimes if you guys are going to restaurants or if you're walking down the street, uh, there will be some children uh, who will come up to you and beg you for money and beg you for like food and things. So when I was eating over at Andoks, all right, Andoks, yeah, <laughs> there are these uh, two children. They kept staring at me and they were knocking on the window and, and begging and asking for money and stuff. And I know that you're not supposed to give money because. If you do, then more children will come, or those children will see that you have resources and things, and they'll continue to ask you. So what I did was I talked to the security officer who was working in uh, the store, and I asked him, you know, are those children hungry? And he says, yeah, they're hungry. So I was like, is it okay for me to buy them food? Because, you know, I don't want to cause any problems with the restaurant. Maybe they'll say, like, okay, if you buy them food, then they'll expect for other people to buy them food. But what put me at ease was, while the children were in the restaurant, another, well, a Filipino, an actual Filipino gave them money. So I didn't see any of the workers like saying, hey, no, you're not supposed to give them any money. So I decided to buy them some food. So I bought the two children uh, a meal. And then I noticed that they didn't have any shoes on. Their feet were like just so dirty. So I went down the, the street and I bought them a pair of slippers. And yeah, I brought it back to them. And I think one of the children, they were going to try to like sell the slippers back because they kept it in the bag. But I made sure that the guy or the little kid put the slippers on his feet and walked around in them so he can't take it back. <laughs> but yeah, just um, like when I'm traveling and you know, I see people who need things, uh, like I'm a big giver. I love to give and uh, I'm a big tipper as well. I really love to tip. I actually got in trouble with this when I went to Kenya. Uh, I kept tipping at the beginning of my trip and it's a no-no to spend a lot of money at the beginning of trips. You spend money at the end of your trip and it's almost time for you to get home. But at the beginning of your trips, you should always be very frugal. So I spent a lot of money, a lot of cash, just tipping, 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 tipping. And yeah, I eventually ran out of cash. And then my card wouldn't work, so I had to uh, get some cash from one of my friends. But yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, when you're coming to the Philippines and you see those children, don't give them the money on the streets. Uh, don't give them anything. Just like, if you feel it in your heart that you want to give them something, then make sure there's like a, um, a law enforcement officer or some kind of authority figure around you and make sure that it's okay and never give it to them when you're alone. Give it to them in front of many people so they don't try to like take your valuables and things if you want to take that risk. I mean, I wanted to take the risk because I don't want to see children walking around hungry or with no shoes in their feet. Okay, anyways, let's get back to this dessert. So we got the flan. The flan opened. We got the mango tea. I thought it was gonna be hot, but it's not hot. And there's like mango bits at the bottom. There's coconut. Here. Wow, the flan smells really sweet. Okay, let's take a bite. Let's taste this flan. Oh, it's thick. It's thick. The top is caramelized. Thick in the center, and the, the sauce is really sweet. Tea time. Mmm. Real mango and coconut bits at the bottom. That's a big, oh, excuse me, that's a perfect combination 
It's really sweet, the flan and the tea kind of like balances it out a bit. Mm. Okay, my day of eating is over. I had a wonderful meal at Undocks and I also had a nice dessert at the cafe even though the flan was a bit too sweet. That's one thing that I noticed about food here in the Philippines that they add a lot of sugar. Even the gravy at the chicken restaurant had some sugar in it. So yeah, be careful with that. Okay, thanks guys for joining me for today's episode. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me. I love you all. Stay hydrated and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace. <laughs>